Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday, Weekend League Sell-Off is in full swing, but this weekend I want to talk about some specific things related to this Weekend League Sell-Off that I am noticing with A, the Rule Breaker cards and gold cards on this game, especially some of the lower rated gold cards. The market is kind of trending and moving like we expect it to, but of course, when you see it in the real time, when you have some of these players in your team, and you see a lot of these price drops on some of the lower rated gold cards, just because of supply continually coming, and even some higher rated ones, uh, we just need to talk about it and just kind of notice that. And I'll also talk about some things we might be able to do tonight with squad battle rewards, because gold cards are still most likely going to be flippable, but it just has to be very meta cards because people like to buy teams on Sunday night. So we'll talk about some of that stuff today. As of right now, I want to show you the Rule Breakers 2 squad price update as well. A lot of these guys bounce around today. Uh, one thing that I've been doing and I've noticed in the past, even this happened last year, I did it a couple times, is promo cards that get panic sold from on Saturday, the second day they're out in packs during the weekend league, there's still some demand. They get sold off in the morning. There was a huge drop in all the rule breakers today. Uh, it's from set two after they started really inflated yesterday, big drop into day two. And then there was a bit of a rebound after the 6 p.m. content. If there's no big 6 p.m. content on a Saturday, the cards that are the most popular that a lot of people are using the new promo cards, right? The most popular of the new promo cards usually bounce back. Last week, Harry Kane went from like 1.3 mil back to almost 1.5 on Saturday. And today, I knew that something like that was going to happen again. I went for Lukaku because I saw such a big drop off in the morning. I bought two of these, or one of them at 385,000 coins. And I sold mine actually at 437 at the, almost the peak right back here. So I made a nice little chunk of coins on that card. There were a couple others that did that today. Di Maria, Royce was three, 450, he went to 500. Teixeira was 375, he went back over 400,000 coins. So those were like the ones that made the biggest movements. Van Anholt was 130 and he went to 150 as well. So would I expect that same thing to happen today on Sunday? Not really. There's a very few times where we see cards drop off into the nighttime on Saturday and then rebound into Sunday morning because most of the time, Foot champion stuff is over. There's not as much demand. And that's where a lot of the demand comes from on the weekends. So some of these cards could drop off just too much tonight. And they could rebound a little bit in the morning. But I wouldn't expect that to happen a lot. There might be some other out-of-packs cards that that could happen to. I'm kind of watching the Rule Breaker set one. Because I think a lot of these cards, the reason why some of these are dropping right now is partially due to the fact that Team 2 cards are a bit cheaper across the board. And they're more packable, which is driving their prices down. And that's kind of making some of these rule breakers drop in price as well. Also, we have some over investing that definitely happened on some of these rule breakers from set one. Uh, in my eyes, this Kamara and Andre were going to be in, over invested in the whole entire time. Um, just It just did not seem to sit well with me. After I saw a lot of people hype these up and, and you know, want them to go up out of packs, like this card going up out of packs does make sense. Uh, but I think it was over-invested in. And even though Team 1 was more rare, I just think there was a lot of over-investing happened on these. And you're seeing a lot of these listed up with basic chem styles. Uh, yeah, man, five owners tradable, no games played, right? When you see a card like this with a couple owners, right? It's not first owner, it's not fresh. It's been bought and then somebody is selling it without playing games. That is somebody who is a trader that is selling that card and losing coins on it. They're selling their investment. And that's what it looks like is happening right here. Um, Somebody is taking the coins on their Kamaras uh, right now because he's literally not gone up in price. Same, same thing with Benjamin Andre. I really feel like those cards were just overinflated. Now, does that mean that they won't rise in the future? No. Sometimes what you see is the second week after a card recovers from the overinvesting and it gets sold off and it drops back down, people have sold that card and now it actually has room to go back up and go up and uh, as it would have normally before. But since you had that over-investing in there and people are trying to make coins on that card, it stopped it. So if I see Kamara at 50,000 coins or below, if I see Andre in the low 50s, I'm probably going to snag a few because, again, that's a 50,000 coin card. All we need is for that to go up to 65, 70K in the next week or two, and that's a huge W. So that's one thing you could see. But I honestly do think that the set two of Rule Breakers is kind of pushing the set one of Rule Breakers down a little bit because some of these guys really haven't risen much. Uh, Llorente is up a decent amount. Ocampos is the same. Mertens is up some. Kane is up some. 
Douglas Costa was up at like 480, almost 500,000 coins, and now he's back down to 440. This card's still very cracked in this game, very good. Nine Golan's kind of down as well. So just be careful, these guys. I feel like there is still more sell-off going to happen today on these Rule Breakers set twos uh, and even set one, some of these special cards out of packs. I do feel like some stuff has to go down a little bit more um, today just because these cards... Uh, Set two cards, and I don't know if I'm actually showing you guys this on stream, but the set two has such a higher pack weight than set one. And this is something that we always said set one was so rare. Uh, I don't know if they upped the pack weight or what it was today, but uh, these guys are actually getting supplied on the market a lot. And I think that yesterday, what was happening was people were trying to snipe them when they were extinct. People were buying them up when they were extinct. Again, as we talked about, EA likes to inflate prices with price ranges, moving them around, making cards extinct, making you think that card is worth that amount or more. And then actually when it comes down to it, it's not gonna actually be that much because the true market value for that card is not as much as the price range that EA had set maybe at that first time where it went extinct, kind of like that Lukaku at 400K. So that is something interesting with these cards. And I do think they are gonna drop a little bit more today, but let's take a look at some gold cards, man, because this is where people are losing some coins right now. Whether you invested in rule breakers, whether you invested in some of these gold cards, they are dropping. Now, a couple of these guys are out of packs right now because like Joe Gomez is in team of the week, right? This is a card tonight at squad battle rewards that I would keep my eyes on. All right, I'm gonna be involved in a Joe Gomez at 130,000 coins, right? This guy was over 140,000 coins. And he is out of packs as a gold item. And uh, he's dropped down like 15,000 coins. He was almost 150, I believe, on Friday night, right? This guy's out of packs. I know he has a lot of demand. But I do think this could be a type of card that rises back up into the morning on Monday. I wasn't expecting to actually win that buy. So I'm going to try to flip that Joe Gomez for probably 140 mids, probably Sunday night into Monday after squad battle rewards just because people like to buy stuff uh, tonight at rewards. But again, the rest of the gold market, a lot of these cards are down. I'll just take you over to Flipin and show you that a lot of these cards are freaking low, man. Sun's 167K, he was 200K on the weekend. Ben Yedder, I literally sold Ben Yedder on Friday afternoon after the promo drop for 68,000 coins as a striker with a Hunter Ben Yedder, right? I sold multiple of them at 68K. He uh, is now under 50,000 coins. Usman Dembele is down 10K. Werner is down. Varane was at 330. He's down to 307. Uh, Allen was like 48,000 coins. He's now 38. Some of these gold cards really got hammered this weekend. Lucas is back to 50. Pogba is out of packs right now. This card at 200K, again, is a bit interesting to me. At this stage of the game, a lot of people can afford this card. There's a lot of French links to go around. I would expect this card to rebound just like Joe Gomez into the first couple days of the week uh, on that one. Valverde will be an interesting watch. Aubameyang's down. Hazard's down. Wijnaldum's down a lot. Um, Langley is down almost 10K now from weekly sell-off. Bale's getting hammered, of course. He's down a lot. Bruno Fernandez is down like 15K. Sissoko is down. So a lot of gold cards are really getting sold off. And that's what happens every weekend, right? But again, we also have to remember what the natural progression of cards is. Uh, like these low rated cards is in FIFA, right? This is an 83 rated gold card. Yes, he was. He went from 50K up to 70, peaked at 72, and then has now crashed all the way down to like 20,000 coins. This graph, this graph on an 83 rated gold card for the first month or so of FIFA is 100% expect. This is what we saw last year and we knew this was gonna happen, right? We knew that some of these low rated cards were just gonna get supplied and they were gonna lose a lot of their value. Actually, one of the craziest graphs to look at would probably be this bail card. He was just way too inflated to begin with this year being 100,000 coins. He really was, right? This guy went from nothing up to 100,000 coins out of packs, of course, for ones to watch. Stayed for that same price even when he came back into packs. Then, of course, we had the big market crash, but you just see this guy going from 100,000 coins literally in two weeks from 100K down to 18,000 coins just because of continued pack supply, promo packs, and this card getting packed, and people are moving on from a Gareth Bale, right? You know, that maybe they played with Gareth Bale, who's a 100K card here, but they've now moved up in coins. They've maybe have a different team. They've got maybe uh, a guy like Salah in their team at right wing. Even though right wings are very rare, and uh, we need some more right wing informs esports. Um, there are still a lot of people that are, they're, they're past. The whole point is they're past some of these players, even like an Usman Dembele, like a Lucas, 
Um, now, Lucas is bouncing up a lot every week at, at Thursday for uh, Rivals Rewards and Weekend League. In the past two weeks, he's gone from 50K to 66. He did it again, 50K to 61K. Uh, and this is just because of lack of right wings in the Prem and in the game. And of course, he fits the meta and he's Brazilian. He's had some Brazilian special cards that have come out recently. But again, that's why you're seeing these low rated cards just continue to tail off in price and continue to drop down. It's just because they're continuing to get packed and supplied and supplied and that's just making them drop even lower. So some stuff that would be interesting to buy tonight on Sunday night with Squad Battle Rewards. Now, just a reminder, we like to buy on Squad Battle Rewards actually before Squad Battle Rewards come out because if you don't do that, what happens is everybody else knows that, hey, Sunday night after Squad Battle Rewards, that's when stuff on the market gets cheap because there's supply from the market, especially if you're buying a gold card, some packs, that's when stuff starts to get cheap, right? So um, if you buy before, a lot of times you, A, the price is about the same unless you're buying a card that's in packs and B, um, especially if it's a gold card or a inform that is out of packs, which is what I would recommend buying tonight for a quick flip uh, into Monday or Tuesday. If it's an out of packs card, there's a lot, um, there's no supply coming to that card after squad battle rewards. So watch the panic selling on out of packs informs tonight. A guy like Jamie Vardy, uh, who right now is 195k according to foot bin, or even like Upa Meccano, who is over 300,000 coins, who is now down in the 260s, just watch these kind of cards today on Sunday, right? Icons as well. Out of packs informs the new promo cards even that are out of packs like Rule Breaker Set 1. Watch those cards tonight. Ones to watch would be ones that you would want to keep an eye on too. Cards like this, like I'm I'm really keen on Team of the Week 3. Uh, Kyle Walker is a very interesting one because he scored the only goal today in Manchester City's win. His inform has obviously been very inflated for the center back position change. This guy was up at 600K this weekend. Now down to 550. If Kyle Walker gets a right back in form, I still feel like this card might get panic sold a little bit, but that'd be a huge opportunity to buy because of that position change, because of the chemistry uh, that you could have in a team. You could have a center back Walker on 10 chem. This guy's going to retain his value a lot, I think. I think this card might even be more expensive than right back Kyle Walker if he gets an 87 in form. So we're definitely going to be keeping an eye on this card throughout the week this week. But team of the week three, Thomas Partey and Firmino and Ramos. Like watch all of these guys on um, into the night on, on Sunday, right? Ramos is a card that's got a lot of hype right now because of his links to Valverde. He's up, he's from like 230K. Uh, he is up a lot, right? But he's down still. He was in the 330K range, 320. And now he's in the 290s, 280s on PlayStation. And on Xbox too, these guys are dropping. It's, it's across both consoles. But definitely keep an eye on these tonight because without the supply from squad battle rewards, people are still going to build teams and some of these cards are going to get in people's teams. I like Firmino a lot because Firmino is Brazilian, uh, links to a lot of the new Brazilian players that are in this game. He was 250K this weekend. I've already traded with him, so I kind of know that this card has some demand. And uh, he's low, man, 225. So a lot of open bids, right? You see these open bids. That's just a clear sign of weekend league sell-off. Um, definitely keep an eye on those tonight for a quick rise into Monday. You can probably still buy gold cards um, on tonight at Squad Battle Rewards. If you wanted to wait until after the supply kicks in, you could probably still snag some gold cards that are very popular that people might want to use. Maybe like um, like a Davinson Sanchez could be somebody that you look at. All right, like this is a card that bounces around all the time. Uh, even though he's a low rated, there's just a lack of like value center backs in the Prem. This guy went from 22 to 30K on rewards on Thursday. And right now he's back down in the low 20s. Uh, if this guy keeps going back down, I mean, you might see this guy bounce up a little bit on Sunday night after squad battles. And the best thing is, if this guy is 22K tonight at rewards, right? I'm just getting a guess. 22K tonight at rewards. And you buy him for like 20 to 21K during the reward supply for a first little bit. All you really needed to do is bounce back up to 24, 25K. You're making two to three K a card. That's a solid 10% uh, profit on your investment, right? You're spending 20,000 coins to make two to three K a card. That's a solid return for literally like a 12 hour flip, right? Because these cards usually rise into Monday as people do buy some teams and stuff on Sunday nights because that's when it is historically the cheapest. So definitely keep an eye on some of that stuff today. If you do wanna make some buys or rewards, 
Um, just think meta, right? Look at the graphs. Look at the cards that fluctuate around the most that have gone up every single week for the past two weeks for Weekend League, right? Lucas would be one. St. Maximin is somehow still 30K. That'd be one I get interested in. And if you do want to make a buy on the Team of the Week or Rule Breakers 2. Now, this is the thing about Rule Breakers 2 cards. If they drop off a lot more today, this could get interesting, right? If they, after 6 p.m. UK time today, if these cards really tank off some more, this could get interesting. Now, we're expecting probably another promo on Friday, possibly Road to the Final. We'll be talking more about that this week and that possibility. These cards are only in packs until Tuesday at 6 p.m. UK. That means on Tuesday, when we will be getting UCL marquee matchups, these guys won't be in packs. They won't be getting supplied. So tonight at Squad Battle Rewards might be the last time that these guys get supplied and they're actually uh, tradable packs that, unless we get a tradable supply on Monday, which we haven't got a tradable pack supply SBC in a while. Uh, so that might be some of the lowest time for some of these cards and possibly for a team of the week. Now, of course, if there is UCL marquee matchups, what there should be, these guys will be in packs uh, for that. But what we've seen is the team of the weeks have been basically at their absolute lowest on Sunday nights or on Sundays, Saturday nights into Sundays, right? If Valverde is like under 250 on the PlayStation uh, or maybe in like the two, let's say in like the 230, low 230s or under 230 on the Xbox, like if he drops 10 to 15K on either console, I'm really liking this card because the, the links that you can get with a Valverde, the new Jimenez card, uh, Mendy at left back. You have a nice triangle right there with the green links. Zaha, I'm a huge fan of with the five-star skills being so necessary this FIFA. Uh, and this card's really good. If you see this close to 200K, that's a snag. Gomez at 400K at flat is a really good buy as well. Kimmich is my sleeper for this week's team of the week. This card fluctuates a ton, right? And this is like the CDM in the Bundesliga if you're going to use a card. So really like this card for an out-of-packs investment. If that can get to like 110, I would love it. And I even like this Paulinho, right? 110K for this card would be nice. I do think you would see some rise on this because of Talisca, because of Teixeira, and just Brazilian links. This is a really good card overall. So I kind of like this week's Team of the Week for possible investing, I'll be honest. Um, but again, you're, when you're investing in Team of the Week, there is a little bit of, uh, I guess you could say, risk in there. It's, it's a risk with any investment that you take on this game because you're buying a card and you're hoping that it rises out of packs um, just for, um, you know, you're, you're assuming that nothing big is going to come out in the game that would maybe drop the prices of those cards. And of course, we always remember the second week out of packs or the second week that they go out of packs. Team of the week four, uh, this is technically their first week out of packs, I guess, but Rashford is absolutely boomed. He's over 700,000 coins. Just be careful with some of these cards this week. I know this card's insanely cracked and he's so good. Everybody loves him. Um, if you want to buy a card like this tonight, if you want to buy an out of packs inform, probably tonight's going to be your night because that's when there will be the most panic selling as we head out of the weekend league or not panic selling, just sell off, I guess you could say, as we head out of the weekend league. So I know there's a lot going on right now. I know that the uh, the market's kind of going crazy. A lot of stuff is dropping down, but I wanted to kind of bring you this video today just so that you can realize why some of this is happening, what's caused some of this. And if you're trying to make some coins right now, icon flipping is still... I think the way to go, in my opinion, a lot of these cards are still fluctuating in price a decent amount. There's still some decent demand, but just remember these guys will drop off as well. It's a great time on the, the weekly sell-off to trade with some of these cards because as you can see here, I was watching some Pirlo's at 640, hoping for one more undercut, and now his cheapest on the market's at 680. So I missed out on an opportunity there. Uh, even had one on bid here that I missed out on. So definitely watch the icons this weekend too. There's a lot of fluctuations. This Raul was like 750. Now he's 770. If I saw another 750, I would snag because I know I can sell this card right around like almost 800K range on the weekend. So just watch some of the undercuts, right? A lot of open bids on icons too. That's a way that you can actually continue to try to flip cards um, as the sell-off is happening this weekend. But again, it'll be interesting to see what content comes today. I know I said I thought we were going to get an SBC on Saturday, like a player SBC. But since this promo is over on Tuesday, I don't think we'll get another player SBC for um, the rule breakers promo, just because that'd be like a really short time frame to complete it. So I don't expect that today. I'm not sure what I expect for Sunday content, but probably won't be anything too crazy. Sundays are usually a little more low key, uh, as are Mondays. So if this helped you guys at all, make sure you smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you do have any questions, of course, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. All right.
Thanks for watching the video today, boys. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.